Hi, here I'll be demonstrating easy steps to make a herbarium at home. This can be done as an activity for middle school, high school and senior secondary science classes. Herbariums are critical resources for biodiversity, ecological and evolutionary research studies. They are great taxonomical tools to study about plant specimens. The plant specimens are dried, pressed and preserved on sheets where it will have a label that contains its local name, botanical name, collector's name, the date of collection and lot of other informations. Let me show you what are the materials required for this and easy steps to make a herbarium. Let's start. First and foremost, we need a plant specimen. This is my beautiful roses. So I have decided to choose this branch for making the herbarium. We need an A4 size paper or a chart paper, a glue stick, scissors, forceps, a pen, and few thick books which help you in pressing the specimen. And I have taken a very thick book. Why? Because I need to press the branch with the leaves and the flower. So um, I need to spread it well. But uh, you can see here, this branch is not completely getting fitted into this pages of these books. So what I can do, I can trim the branch. So I'll trim it. So this leaf not required. And we are spreading it well so that all the parts can be seen clearly. And this is the flower. Even the flower also, if possible, just spread well. You can see is stigma, style and ovary. Some petals have come out, but it's okay. So now you can see the leaves, the compound leaf, the branch and the flower very clearly. Close this book. Be very careful while handling it. It has to be closed and pressed. Now, how will you press it? You cannot stand here for a long time like this, right? And this has to be kept for at least one week. So, take few more books, which are heavy, thick books. Keep it on top of it. Yes. So this setup, you can keep it in a cupboard, in a dry place. Now every day, you need to open this page and remove that branch from that page and move it to another page. Why we are doing this process? Because by the time the plant has been placed in that sheet for one day, the moisture from the plant has been absorbed by the pages of the book and if you keep it for a long period maybe for two days or three days there are chances that the fungal attack can happen and it will destroy the plant parts so what you'll do you will remove this plant part from here the next day and take another new page and put the plant specimen inside that so every day you keep changing the pages so every day you remove that plant material and keep it into a fresh page. So this avoids fungal infection and it will not lead to damage of the plant part. So after one week, after a week, you will be getting a dried and properly pressed plant specimen. I'll show you one specimen that I've already done it and it had taken one week for me to do this. So this is a plant specimen that I've already done it a week before and I kept it on a 
a4 size paper so instead of a4 size paper you can even use a chart paper white chart paper for it now you can see that this plant specimen exactly fits on this page you can see the inflorescence this is a uh, tulsi plant you can see the inflorescence you can see all these uh, leaves and this branch perfectly dried one okay now what all things you require you require a glue stick now why glue stick is required because you are going to paste this specimen onto the sheet now some people use cellophane tape uh, to stick they use it uh, on these branches to stick it but it doesn't look good so it's always better to go for a glue stick i'll show you how to apply the glue and be very careful while applying it just small drops here and there so that it get fixed and glued to the sheet So here you can clearly see that all these parts are properly stuck. In case if some of the leaves are not stuck, just apply a small drop of the glue and press it. In this way it looks very neat. So I, I don't suggest using cellophane tapes for making herbarium sheets. And handle this dried plant delicately they are all very delicate so it has to be handled with care so this is how we can make a herbarium now the work is not yet over the herbarium means we have a plant specimen along with that few details also will be there in the form of a label so we need to create a label here so when we uh, paste this plant specimen make sure that there is some space here to label the plant so these are some of the details which i know about this plant in case if you know further details you can even add on all these uh, details you can write whether it's a herb it's a shrub dicot monocot all these details can be written in this along with this label so mainly you will be writing the common name scientific name so common name of this plant is uh, tulsi scientific name is osimum sanctum date of collection it's on 29 june 2021 collector's name it's me place of collection dc halli bangalore this is how we can prepare a herbarium at home some precautions to remember one don't keep the specimen inside the book for more than one week because it leads to too much of drying of the plant specimen and the leaves and stem becomes brittle second point on a daily basis you have to take the specimen out from the previous page and keep it inside a new page otherwise it leads to spread of uh, fungal spores and it can damage the specimen third point preferably use a glue stick rather than using a cellophane tape and handle it with care. Thank you.